Guys, sentiment on the market is extremely low. Uh, prices of it on Ethereum is one way. I haven't, I don't remember when was the last time when I saw prices like that. Uh, views on YouTube are nowhere near comparing to March. We had a small bounce on Monday. Sunday Monday and now we're kind of chopping so it's really hard to get the entry for all the people who are playing leverage so I don't know something tells me guys that we might see a bounce very very soon it kind of gives me a vibe from uh, summer uh, 2021 when we were like really really grinding downwards everyone thought this is the end and now we are like major support on bitcoin uh, most of the alts are also at major support um, a lot of people are estimating that we're gonna go lower also a lot of people are estimating that we're going to get higher just because the space is more educated that's why i think we're probably gonna get a move today there was a lot of expectations that something has to move until the end of the week and because in this market everyone is so educated everyone is trying to front run everyone and trying to make their bets uh, earlier so this is how I'm going to play I've made some bets on Coins that are basically show the, the highest strength, uh, except some meme coins because at the Monday bounce there were Brett, uh, Dog with Hat, they had like 40% bounces, which is good if you're trading meme coins, I guess, but at the same time, fuck meme coins, they are the, the reason why this market is a fucking joke. Uh, anyways, if the market gives, why not take opportunity? So, nothing personal. <clears throat> I bet I made my most bets on Solana. Now I'm slowly getting into tone because it shows strength. That's one thing. Second thing is that Telegram is obviously one of the most used applications in crypto, so it's super easy to onboard new people. I don't really did the too much research around its ecosystem are there any valuable projects being built on but I think first we're gonna see Bitcoin moving and then we're gonna see top 100 coins moving after him so also Ondo because of the BlackRock narrative um, and IO it's a pretty fresh um, project regarding AI narrative launched on Solana which I see has the most potential regarding AI narrative because it's fast and scalable, which Ethereum can suck a dick with this. I don't see it being used or any layer twos for that matter. Uh, when there was a layer zero airdrop, um, you had to pay to claim the, the, this airdrop and some people had to pay like 20 dollars to receive this airdrop on, the, on Arbitrum, on the layer 2, which makes completely no sense. So I don't see it being used by, you know, any uh, application for the masses actually, so fuck that. Uh, for now it's Solana, Ton, uh, and we will see. Of course gaming and AI I made some uh, bets on a really smaller project. <sighs> Game Swift, like chart doesn't look sexy. I can tell you that. Uh, I know that the boys have a lot of things going on and a lot of things will come, but uh, well, chart reflects the negative, uh, the negative sentiment around the project. Uh, I'm holding, I, I didn't sell any of my Game Swift, so, we will see. 
It's gonna be definitely an emotional roller coaster. So yeah guys, I don't know. Uh, usually when I did other way what my emotions were telling me in this market, I did okay. And right now my emotions are telling me that it's kind of over, that everything is is bullshit and we're going lower so you know i also made in case we do that because we never know i made some leverage bets on a really really low positions like most of the bottom of some of my charts on the uh, on beam on on a few other gaming projects that if they drop from this level they go lower i made some small leverage bets that if we're gonna get uh you know uh, pin bar down then i hope to catch uh this dump and make some money on it this is my plan guys you do you but stay safe out there and let's make money Yo.